welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a wrap up of everything that I read in March and in April this past year. I'm sorry that the video is a little bit late. I know that I was supposed to upload last Thursday and like also a vlog on Saturday, but I had a final and then also the room that this bookshelf was in kind of flooded a little bit. So we had to save the bookshelf and move it in here, which actually it looks pretty great in here. So I'm happy the bookshelf is happy and not covered in water damage. So let's begin. The first book that I read in March was The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. I gave this book 4.25 stars. I really enjoyed it. I really liked the ending. I didn't expect it and that's always really great for me. I love it when I don't expect the ending. Um, so I really understand why everybody always talks about Brandon Sanderson and his book endings being super epic. Um, it, it really was and yeah, I, I just I liked how everything tied together and was just so much bigger and more complicated than you would have thought like reading the first book. So yeah, really enjoyed it. The next book that I read in March was Warbreaker, also by Brandon Sanderson. I gave this 4.5 stars, so I actually liked it better than the Mistborn trilogy. Um, yeah, I really loved the magic system. I thought the breath and light and color and all of that was just so interesting, the way that he like had this hard magic system. And I was discovering at the time that I really enjoyed hard magic systems, so this was perfect for me. I also liked the romance in this a lot more than I liked the romance in Mistborn. I was actually rooting for them to get together and it was super adorable and yeah, I I loved all the characters. I thought they were really funny. Um, the humor always landed. Um, even the character that I didn't really like initially, if you've read it you'll know who I mean, I definitely liked by the end and the character development, that's really, really great, especially for a standalone, so yeah. The last book that I read in March was Storm from the East by Joanna Hathaway the second book in the Glass Alliance trilogy. I thought it was really great. I gave it 4.5 stars, which is a little bit higher than the first book, just because the characters were a little less, like, annoying. Um, I liked where everything's going with all of the politics and the interpersonal relationships and, like, the drama. It's really great. Um, the writing is really good. Um, I especially enjoyed all of the, like, historical details and accuracy. Even though it's set in an alternate world, it just really, really great. I think it's super interesting that the author actually kind of used journals from her family member who had been a pilot. I just, it's really great. Really enjoy it. The first book that I read in April was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I picked it up because I really enjoyed Crescent City, so I thought, hey, you know, I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll like it. But I did not. I gave it two stars. That's why you don't see it here. But yeah, it just, I didn't like the characters. I thought they were frustrating and a little bit unrealistic at times. I thought the plot was also kind of unrealistic and frustrating, like it just sort of was really convenient, a lot of like weird things had to kind of happen and characters had to make really bad decisions and it was just very strange. Um, I didn't like the romance, but it was kind of weird and then like a little creepy and then like it didn't really make any sense and then the other guy was even creepier, like resand, I guess. And I just, I'm not interested in continuing the series. i um, really glad that I read Crescent City first because I think if it had been the other way around I probably wouldn't have ever picked up anything else by Sarah J Maas, so yeah. The second book that I read in April was Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier. As you can see, I also don't have it, which I know it's really popular, especially here on YouTube, but I just didn't really like it. I well, initially I did. I thought the writing was beautiful and lyrical and the descriptions of the forest and the characters were really, really excellent, but I just didn't like the romance. I thought it was super duper creepy because she's like a child in the beginning when they meet and like I also just didn't kind of read it as a romance. I didn't pick up on it initially and I didn't feel it once I realized that was the direction it was going. I was like, they just don't, but why? They're not they don't have any chemistry. She's like a child who needs like support, not a love interest. Um, yeah, so I just, I didn't like that aspect. I thought it was really strange and really uncomfortable to read. And then it also, the book just kind of made me sad. So I didn't like that. I mean, life is depressing enough without me having to like watch a character or just be like constantly terrorized for no reason. It was bad for me. Um, but I did like that we actually got to meet all of the brothers before they turned into swans. Um, a lot of times with fairy tale retellings of that particular fairy tale, you see kind of like, oh, the brothers and like one character trait, and then like, boom, they're swans or cranes. But in this case, we actually learned a lot about them, and they were actually like pretty relevant characters up until they turned into swans and all that. Um, and I liked that. So yeah, just definitely not for me, and I really have no interest in reading any of the rest of the series. 
The last book that I read in April was The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was amazing. I gave it five stars. So yeah, it just, the world building was so unique. I've never read anything like it and the characters. And I just, I loved delving into all of the like religions and the way the politics developed and how the characters' views of their world like worked together into their character and how it explored their mental health and like it just explored so much more than I'm used to seeing in books because a lot of times there's you know like a page limit so they just like they can't delve into everything but this book did and I loved it. It was amazing. I thought it was worth every single page. The end I literally teared up and that never happens to me. It was just was so involved in the story so yeah I really really loved this book. But yeah, that's everything that I read in March and April of 2022. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!